favorite part. <laughs> oh! Live from New York. To show that bought 20 of these things and we only have one left. It's the second hour of First Things First. Today, Patrick Mahomes. Pretty good. Uh, best accomplishment of his career? Unquestionably. And what he's done post Tyreek is unfathomable. It's truly unbelievable. To trade away a guy who has proven to be even better than I think people thought yeah, once yeah, he left. Absolutely. And to last year win the league MVP and in the second half be down 10 against the most, one of the best defenses in football, come back and throw touchdown passes to Sky Moore, who got zero snaps yesterday mm -hmm. and was a rookie, and to Kadarius Toney, who was a healthy scratch yesterday. And then this year in the Super Bowl, in the second half, after being down 10 against one of the best defenses in football that was playing its best game in a couple months, throw a touchdown pass to MVS, who people wanted benched, yeah. and then to McCole Hardman, who was on the Jets this year, and they couldn't <clears throat> find a way to use him. For that, for that to have happened, for all year long, people that were doubting the Chiefs and what, wanting to pay Mahomes' respect, they were saying, listen, it's like Brady in 06 or Brady in 19 when he just doesn't have the weapons. Yep, but he won. Mm -hmm. And he did it with the hardest path possible. And this is a point, Brew, I know you agree with me on, but I want to emphasize. At any quarter pull of the season, if we would have said to you, all right, the Chiefs are going to win the AFC West because they always do, uh, what's the hardest possible path to a Super Bowl? Oh, yeah. People would have said, well, either Miami, Baltimore, Buffalo in round one, and then on the road to the other two in round two and three, and then waiting for them as the Niners. Check, 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 check. And... Yeah. They found a way. So, yes, it's the best accomplishment. Well, look, Buffalo number two seed, uh, Baltimore number one seed, San Francisco number one seed. So that, that was – and not to mention Miami. That was yeah. the path. I, I'll throw this out because I, I agree with what you said. This is the, the greatest accomplishment. But individually, to throw for 50 touchdowns and 5,000 yards as a, his first year as a starter, like individually, and they got to the AFC Championship game, that was incredible because – only two other guys have ever thrown for 50, if I'm not mistaken. Tom Brady and Peyton Manning, and they both were well into their careers yeah. when they did it. So that right there, that's why I called him Jordan S. Because it was like, mm -hmm. this is crazy. Your first years of starting is what he's doing. But, yeah, as a team uh, accomplishment, no question. Because and, and, look, I get it. And I know, obviously, you stuck with them through thick and thin. But the commentators, myself, Greg, others included – who were just looking at it. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, they're dropping. They lead the league in drops, right? They don't have a number one receiver. Maybe Rasheed now would be a number two, but at some points it was like they don't even have a number two wide receiver. Like, it wasn't really unfair for people to just say, what we're seeing now when they go five and five over the last two months of the season, what we're seeing now is not Super Bowl champion, so I think that was fair analysis, but to win it despite all of that with the young defense, the defense was great, but yeah, this was incredible what he did. Yeah, it absolutely was his best accomplishment in my opinion. I said it earlier in the year that if he were able to get this team to the Super Bowl and get this done, it would be his best accomplishment, and here we are this week he was able to do that. For me, what, what stands out is he never wavered. He never... All of those drops, everything that we were talking about all season long, what we saw, and he was experiencing and having yeah. to endure, he kept saying, but these are my guys. Mm -hmm. I got, I'm, I'm going to need them at some point in the season. I'm going to keep throwing the ball to them because at some point in the season, they're going to come through. Like, he kept saying that where I'm sitting here as a spectator, a former player, and I'm thinking, man, he has to allow them to take some of the accountability. What he did – was to continue to encourage them and have them understand, I'm never going to not be on your side. I'm never going to not have your back. No matter what, until we actually fall on our face together collectively, 
I got you, and I'm going to keep coming to you. And it paid off because in the moments this entire playoff run, those receivers and everybody that we identified as problematic and as, as potential issues of where that's going to be a hiccup, they stepped up, almost every single one of them. What? Quick, my, my guy, right. Kadarius Tony. Well, no, that, that, you know, <laughs> no, but, I mean, he, took, but he, I, had inter- they, he popped up a ball in Foxborough and Mahomes went to the bench and he was like, nah, no, that, but that's, that's it, so yeah. here's the thing. I actually, if, if I may, and then go, Brew, uh, I don't think that's why Tony was out. I think Tony was out because he was the only one that was not mature enough to handle the situation. Correct. The IG live and all that. It was, it was we're going to give you. Fans. We're, we're, right. We're going to give you Mahomes. That's exactly and, right. And so because like, of that, like McColl made a m- bigger mistake than Kadarius did. It was in the playoffs of the yep, game right, they could have lost. Right. McColl, McColl's there in the Super Bowl. With, it, 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 Mahomes trusted him on the bomb. Mm-hmm. Tr- trusted him to game winner because he was a professional. That's right. Kadarius did that, in my opinion, did that to himself. But go ahead, Brady. No, I, I agree with that. Well, also, and I don't know who's done this. My guess is Brady may have done it in the early when they won the first three. No 1,000-yard rusher or 1,000-yard receiver either and, on this team. Right. Mm-hmm. And the reason they didn't have the 1,000-yard receiver was because Travis said yep. – for the yeah. sake of the team, I'll Absolutely. forego a personal goal. I, the comeback stuff, because it's double digits in the Super Bowl, we've talked about this is his third one. I just want to show one other Mahomes comeback graphic. Because down seven in the playoffs, if we can show that. So this is a bananas thing that Patrick has made us numb to. Brady was considered the greatest we'd ever seen because half the time when he was down seven, they won. Patrick's nine and two. Every other quarterback ever, they win less than one and four. And so yesterday, that's the thing. Like, great players change how we see sports. Yes. Yes. And prior to Tom Brady, if you were down seven in a playoff game, you're basically dead. And then Brady was amazing because it was like, oh my God, they they win half of those. Mahomes now, it's they're a huge favorite, down seven, much less ten. So. Yeah. Who did Purdy impress you? <laughs> I, I, I thought he played well. I, I, today would have been much harder for me had he gone out there and played like he did against the Ravens or something. Like, I, I thought he showed, even me who had believed in him, like he, he, he's your guy. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying you don't, there aren't better quarterbacks out there, but they can win. I think they can win a Super Bowl with him. The problem is Patrick Mahomes is there, but nobody's Mahomes. Like, and, and look at this, this uh, graphic – Purdy played – these are the four playoff quarterbacks that they face. All of them are more touted than Purdy. He had the best game. I think Josh Allen had a better game. Than well, me. I'll give you Josh. All right, yeah, right. I mean, I'll I, give you, you, statistically, because Josh it, yep. ran for, what, two touchdowns? Yeah, I'll give yep. you Josh. But Tua I, and Lamar, I totally agree. he definitely played better than. And so, yeah, I, I was impressed, and I felt like, you know what, because I'm, I'm assuming he's going to get better. So he's only yeah. in his second year. See, so yeah, I, I think he can. That's be guy. the assumption that I don't know if it's a fair one. So Colin brings this up a lot, and I think it's a good point. The the physically limited four year college starters, kind of. If I'm sorry, Wilds, the Mac Jones profile and Purdy's hey. better. Sorry, buddy. I, I <laughs> um, they don't always have these giant leaps. Level. You know, and, and so I I want to be very fair here. The Chiefs' game plan was to put the ball in his hands, and we can sh- listen. Early in the game, he was carving them up. Later in the game, he wasn't as good, but he didn't make the killer mistake. No, correct. And I thought I was—he played better than I thought he would by a mile. Yeah. And the moment didn't seem too nope. big for him. That was it. For me. And now, I when you say he's their quarterback long term, I think that because they can't pay him this offseason, how he plays next year is going to determine that. But I, I'm not going to sit here and say Brock Purdy cost the Niners that game because no. I don't think he did. I thought he played fine given the circumstances. I'll give him a B. Yeah, so I, I, it was impressive to me because when you look at the game, even in, in its completion, you walk away saying, did he give him a chance to win? And the answer is yes. Like, right. did, he, did he cost him an opportunity to win the game? The answer would be no. He didn't cost him an opportunity. Did he miss a throw that he wished he could probably have back, the one to Debo, Debo in the end zone? Yeah, but he was getting pressured, all the things we can say that. For me, when I look at Brock Purdy, and, and you kind of talk about it, I said the same thing earlier today, that you would assume he's going to get better. The more I think about that, 
the player that he is is what he is. It's not necessarily will he get better. It's does he have another gear that he can go to. That's kind of what you're alluding to. We None of what he's showed us tells us that he has that gear outside of that Detroit championship game. If he starts to add the scrambling yeah. ability I and, he and, did into his game. Yesterday had a he, couple. With yeah. the horse collar, I thought he plays. could move. I was like, oh. Yeah. But, the, but my point is, it's, is it and will it be enough to be a difference maker because the guy that everybody's trying to take down right. does everything better than everybody. So for me, I, I'm not sure if it'll be ever enough. But he's definitely their, their quarterback of the future. Uh, coming up next, is there any QB better than Mahomes? And what are the other teams going to do about it next, first things first? Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.